the new EP is crazy. New video is crazy. Uh, but let's backtrack yeah. a little bit. Maybe you could just talk a little bit about how you got your start doing music. I thought it was 2011 with one of my best friends. Uh, his name is John Martino, a producer. And yes, it, it, it has been a long time, but we're together right now. Like we're still working. It's still, it been like 10 years mm. of music and a great friendship. Yeah, sometimes they say it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. And this is like your year right now. You coming up. Sometimes this is really take a big more. One. Yeah. Yes. That's, <laughs> That's crazy. Right. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It, your music has range. You're definitely a versatile yeah. artist. But for somebody That's that right. hasn't heard you yet, how would you describe your music to them? I, I'm not in a movie, you know. I'm not selling uh, superficial things or a uh, superficial uh, personality. I, I, I like to do music to people reflect on themselves and to connect. Yeah. And even when I'm doing music about about being in the club, about the street, about whatever, about girls, it's it's just to make people to to connect. Yeah, and there's like a lot of music that I feel like you bring different inspirations from but it's like maybe you could talk about who were some of your inspirations to like start doing music there's a lot of people but in the urban game i think it was Tego calderon and Don mm. Omar. they they were the most successful rappers of the of uh an era and they were black you know and i i like that i love that what would you say separates you from some of the other artists in the game right now? Just that, uh, all, all that I say to you when I when I, I talk about how I want to, I want to connect with people and people to connect uh, with themselves. That's the thing that separate me uh, uh, of other rappers, other uh, artists. And I think I'm a person who I don't want to do just music. I want to, to do more. I want to ex express myself. I want to be here. I can do more for for, for people, for, for the world, for for the future, you know. This is just the beginning. Music is just a step in my life, in my career. I don't yeah. want to be Joy Santana, the rapper, Joy Santana, the musician. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be Joy Santana, the artist. I just want to be Joy Santana. Yeah, I respect that and for sure, for sure. When you get to be some some uh somebody just being you you are more uh, of an artist or uh, more more than than, a, than a, an artist you know people like like bob marley he wasn't just uh an artist you know he was much more yeah. and i and i think if you if you got a perfect mentality to do that you know no ego no you can achieve greatest things in, in in life and that's what I want. I want to be remembered not not for my not for my stuff, not, not for my music, you know, you know, it's just for how the way I could help people in other ways. Yeah, you're definitely on your way to being an icon. I see great things coming for you. I hope so. <laughs> in this last 10 years that you've been grinding on this music, what would you yes. say was some of like the hardest parts of it? Like what was some things that you had to overcome? To make this possible, you know, to, to make recording possible, to make two videos, to get a, a label to interest in you. You know, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Um, well, well, harder than that is to do good music, you know, that's the hardest part. But when you got it, you got it. So. The, the yeah. hardest part is is all that industry shit. Yeah. How do you stay motivated through all of that? Because I live for this. I, I live for, for this, you know. This this is this is what I want since since I, I can remember. So mm. I'm here, I, I will do this no matter what take. And so far, what was like one of your favorite memories or your favorite moments? Then I 
that, that I perform at the Choliseo here in Puerto Rico. That's one of the stage most important in, in the music industry, you know, in the, in the urban movement. And I, I think in every movement because Puerto Rico is a place that is so much important in music, in the culture. Yep. So uh, the fact that I was doing that and the, the fact that the, the people were really, 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 really hyped when, when they see me on the stage, you know, that's the, that's the moment to be live with me forever. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm here in Florida. I'm in Tampa, Florida. And yeah. I, I see your music is starting to kind of bubble up here a little bit. I see the DJs oh, playing some of these new it. records. Where in this coming year do you see yourself, like where do you see this music taking you uh, cro in crossing over to America? What's some of the places you would like to visit and perform your music here? I, I think you know, I, I want to do a Coachella. Mm. Yes, I want I want to do that. That's I want to do music for not just the club, you know. Yeah. I want to do music for festivals to 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 make to what where there's a lot of people, you know. I want to do the Amadison Square Garden, of course. Anywhere this thing take me, I will go there. Yeah. That's what's up. I could definitely see your music crossing over to festivals in this next year. That would be crazy to see you on one of those big stages. Yes, that will be crazy, crazy. <laughs> you got some like really good collaborations under your belt already. But what are like maybe one or two artists that you'd love to collaborate with in the near future? Break, of course. I, I want to do something with Kendrick Lamar somewhere, yeah. someday. And Daddy Yankee, you know, because he's, he's the most important person in Latin music, Latin industry. Yeah. And, you know, having a song with him, it, it's, it's not just fame, it's not, it's not just money, it's just a big winning for, for me or, or for whoever who can make a song with him. But, that would be an amazing collab. I'm a big fan of Daddy Yankee, so. It's not the fact that he's good. He's still yeah. being good. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable how long he's been, you know, crushing it. You got an EP that's coming up on the charts right now. It's out now. Yeah. You have a, a new video online right now for Dormir Sola. Amazing mm -hmm. video. What's coming next for you? You know, I want to do a lot of music. I have a lot of music to drop. And I think I will do EPs for all the year, like Mumbly. I want to do, I have features with, the artist most hot in PR right now. The next thing will be other EP in April, who is be called Después Siempre Estarle. After is always left. I think it's something like that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And you, you know, you've been doing this for quite a while now. What's some advice you could give to some young artists that are trying to get to where you're at uh, in the game? The one that, the one that some days someone told to me, don't listen to nobody and mm -hmm. be you. Just do this if you really love it. Not if you just want it. This is not for every person who want it, you know? Every, everybody, every day they, uh, they, are, they are rappers, uh, artists who born in music, you know? Mm -hmm. But... Not, not all day will make it because not all day really loved it, really wanted mm. fame. They want money, they want cars, they want women. But what more? There's more, you know? Yeah. And just the people who, who know that is the people who achieve their goals in this. And I think that's my advice for every person who, who will listen to this. And you've been getting a lot of new fans lately. What's like one message you could give to your fans for them looking for new music and stuff from you this year? Thanks for the love. It's always a, a, a pleasure. I'm not a charismatic person. I'm not a, a person on a personaje. I'm a person as real as they are. And that's what, I'm, what I will give to them forever, you know? Yeah. And yeah, before we wrap up, I don't know if you have any like shout outs to anybody on your team or any thank yous or anything like that. But I kind of wanted to give you the floor to say kind of whatever you wanted to say. Uh, thank you to everybody. You know, I'm just a, a, a person of, 
I've been grateful. I have to thank to everybody who's in the team right now. Uh, it's, it's, we're doing something too much special, even even if they don't know me a lot, uh, a lot, but thanks for believing me. Thanks for believing the project. Thanks for believing the songs. We will make history. Yeah. And that's right. Yeah. I just want to thank you for taking this time and for putting out some really great music, great videos. I see a lot of good things coming your way, man. Keep putting in the work. I really respect what you're doing. Thank you, bro. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too, man. Salute. Take care.